My name is Reg LaFleur and I'm a local stencilist slash cartoonist slash graphic designer. Doing this about uh, several years. Uh, the cartooning aspect of my work I've been putting together uh, ever since my high school years back in 2000, 2004. Um, and then, you know, as far as like the street art elements, uh, I've been doing that about good two years or so. Uh, just linking up with other local talent and really kind of just learning from their techniques and kind of just putting my own style and twist to things. My style of work uh, and my techniques uh, come from a lot of influences. Um, you know, I learned how to put together uh, graphical elements uh, using just, you know, like basic programs such as Photoshop uh, to create vectors and to create like comic style, manga style, um, cartoons, uh, artwork, that sort of thing. And uh, basically just infuse that with different philosophical elements from other forms of artwork, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, street art style work, dealing with stenciling. Uh, speaking of stenciling, that was something that I wanted to jump into uh, dealing with like, you know, graffiti, uh, freehand, that type of stuff. So. Uh, so I learned how to uh, stencil and uh, to kind of get a better grasp of that sort of culture, that sort of lifestyle, and uh, really just bring forth all of my other talents, um, learning how to cartoon, um, learning how to, you know, kind of just put together a composition of different works of art all in sort of one sort of form. Um, and in a way, there's several forms out of that, but, you know, that's, that's essentially, you know, what my art consists of. I get my inspiration from a lot of my um, influences, uh, kind of just my surroundings, that sort of thing. Um, a lot of my work is focused around uh, pop culture elements um, and pop culture just being a lot of uh, kind of what's uh, sort of in the norm, what's the sort of like cool thing to be into, that sort of thing, and kind of just uh, put my own sort of twist onto that uh, sort of subject matter. So the influence kind of comes from kind of what I learned uh, just as an individual and then kind of just have my own take on that stuff. And also, you know, my influence has come from kind of just a homage to uh, a lot of, you know, the things that I you know, were, 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 you know, were around growing up. And that usually deals with a lot of cartoons. You know, I played a lot of video games, uh, went to Street Fighter Tekken tournaments and, and uh, you know, just you know, um, so that culture, you know, is a part of my influence as well. So, um, so that's, that's basically it with me when it comes to that, you know, sort of influence, you know, a lot of different things that I can, you know, sort of see, you know, my work kind of, kind of branch off to, but for now, you know, I'm kind of just sticking with my influences and kind of just, you know, rolling with the punches and kind of seeing, you know, how far I can go with the, uh, sort of skill set that I have now. And then we'll go from there. The raw experience is an experience that's set the bar for anything that I've done um, as an artist. Not only uh, has it given me the sort of tools to, you know, express my sort of creativity, um, you know, just as an individual, um, but it's challenged me in a way to really, you know, put myself out there, make myself known, you know, which was the biggest thing, you know, the biggest issue that I had you know, just being an artist really just anywhere. You can find my work uh, in a variety of uh, social networking spots. Uh, I'm mainly on Facebook, so uh, hit up facebook.com slash Reggie LaFleur artist page. Uh, I'm also on DeviantArt at gk2000.deviantart.com. Um, I'm also uh, on Instagram, Tumblr, uh, you know, just look up Reggie LaFleur on those social networking handles and you'll see my stuff. My name is Reggie LaFleur and I am a raw artist.